Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all of the hidden copy clues around the new Nuka World DLC. Now, of course, these are tied into the quest in which you get off Sierra outside of the Nuka Arcade itself. Now, first of all, I would like to say, guys, that you probably should talk to her first, as if you go hunting for these first, you will not be able to activate them. You actually need to start the quest with this woman in order to, you know, actually get the clues and document them down. Now also, I would like to say before we do get into finding these, that I have lots of Nuka World DLC content on my channel. If you do enjoy this guide, then please go over to there and check my other content. But for now guys, we're going to get into where these copies are. The Nuka Koa Museum. Everyone's heard of that. So, our first hidden copy is at Dry Rock Gulch. You guys should probably know where this is as you do find it pretty early on in the DLC. You want to go through the main gate and just head down this little stretch of buildings right here. Watch out though, there are quite a lot of enemies that will cause problems, but you should soon see a saloon. Once here, you want to turn left and go towards the roller coaster is fallen down. Take a quick right in the little graveyard site here, and if we just look towards the back of one of these graveyards, there you are, right there, on that gravestone, there is the first That's hidden one. copy. Just press A or X to document it, and let's be on our way to get our second copy. Our second hidden copy can be found in the Kitty Kingdom inside the Fun House. So here is right here on the map for all of you who are new to the DLC. And once we've located it, we just want to go inside the front exit of the Fun House. Once inside, we want to turn right and go through these double doors. And I would suggest that you do slow down the video a little bit and just watch where I go as it, it will be a little bit too quick for me to actually commentate on where to go through this little maze and I do recommend that you do have a combat shotgun as there are quite a couple of enemies. So as you can see we went through this little door and we're now on the conveyor belt in which normally push you back. You just want to keep on jumping over them and now we are at the spinning Nuka Colas. We want to jump on this little ledge here and then jump right over to there and we want to wait for it to take us to the next platform. Once on here, go through the door and you're going to want to follow where I go. Go through the right tube, go left, and then go through the left tube. There is actually a scav mag on the right of there if you do want to get that while you're doing this guide. And I do have a guide on the scav mags, so make sure that you go and check them out too. But here we'll be at this big tube. Watch out guys, there is actually two holes in this tube in which makes you fall into the water below. So just make sure that you take your time. And eventually, you will be at the exit of this area. Once there, just open up the door and continue on down these stairs. Then go up these stairs and through this little doorway right here. There will be a couple of ghouls, just kill them. And we want to aim for that red door right there. It is the first red door on your left. Jump right on through and there is the second hidden copy clue. Just pick that up and the reel of Nuka tickets if you like. And let's move on to our next hidden copy. Copy number three is probably one of the easiest located in Nuka Town, USA, in which you can see Fizz Top Grill. So just on the map right here, I will zoom out just for all of you newbies. And uh, yeah, we want to go through here and turn left. I probably should have done this one first, I completely forgot about it, so I am very sorry about that. And we want to aim towards this uh, building in which has the two points on the roof. Turn left before we get to it, and there you will see the third hidden copy clue. So once That's you record that, let us move on Letters to the next one. Spell something. We are back at Dry Rock Gulch now, in which we need to get to the minecart coaster. Just for any of you, I will show it on the map once again. But to actually access this minecart coaster building, you need to have a key. That is why I left it until now in this game. But yes, we want to go through where it says enter here once you have that key. Once inside, we want to just navigate to where I go. Watch out, there are quite a couple of enemies in here in which will surprise you, so just watch out. And uh, yeah, just keep on going through these mine tunnels and the first little building area that you get to just jump over the fence and as you can see there is the fourth hidden copy right there on this hey, building. Just record it and let's move on. 
Back to Kidzy Kingdom now for our hidden cappy number five near King Cola's castle. So as you can see, there it is right there on the map, not far from the Kidzy Kingdom location mark. So once we're here, we want to go towards the kingdom, but turn left and you will see a broken down building. Head on in. You guys are probably thinking too, why are you doing these all mix mixed and matched? Well, these are the actual uh, kind of way that these are designed. So, you know, they, these are in order of what is in the in-game files. So here at the very top of this building, we will find hidden copy number five. Just record that clue and we're going to move on to hidden copy number six. So, yeah. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. I don't know where the fuck I was going with that, but we are now at the Savari Adventure Zone in Nuka World. And right here, we need to go near the primate house. Once here, you will see the entrance, and we kind of just want to go into the little walkway in which we were going to be entering it. But before we do go inside, we want to turn right here, and then a right again, and you will see that there is hidden copy number six. I do apologize for that shitty joke. I will now go end my life, but first I'll record the extra copies so you haven't wasted your time. Okay. So finally, we do have another copy clue that is located in the same place. This is again the Safari Zone right at the entrance. So here you're going to want to navigate to where I'm going Right now, it is a bit hard to find out, uh, I'm pretty much going on the map, didn't really help, but you'll get to an employee-only zone. Go up these little stairs here, and we're going to kind of jump on this little ledge, so that we can kind of cheat to get to this copy. Once on these cages, we want to head to where I go, and as you will see, we're pretty much just defeating the obstacle of going through the maze. Jump on this hedge, and then jump down into the first little corridor of, I don't know, maze way, I guess? And there is hidden copy number seven. Now that we've collected that, let's move on. This next copy can be found at the World of Refreshment, which is right here on the map. It is just above the fun house and just to the right of Dry Rock Gulch, so it isn't that hard to find. Once here, we want to go into the water and go through the boat entrance like so. Once inside, you're going to want to be heavily equipped as there is quite a lot of Nuka Lurk and Nuka Lurk Hunters about, so just watch yourself. And we're going to keep on following exactly where I go, down these little, I guess, prop streets. They actually look pretty cool, I love this little setting, it was pretty cool of them to add this in. So once we get here, we want to just continue on, past this little boat, and then to the left of us right here, you will see there is hidden copy number eight. Just record that clue and get the fuck out of there. Now to the galactic zone in which we need to go to star control. It can be found on the map right here, just to the left of the map in Nuka World. And it's pretty simple to find. Once we get here, go towards star control, turn left, and then go just behind the actual stairs going up. And through this little alleyway here, you should see located on the left of this wall, there is hidden copy number 9. Just collect it and let's move on. Again, same place, we are in the galactic zone and this time we are starting from the entrance of it. There you can see star control up above, but instead of going all the way down there, we want to turn right here and go up these stairs. And it's pretty simple to find actually, the ones in this part of the map are very easy indeed. Once we are on this top level of uh, floors, I guess we need to go towards the spacewalk and just to the left of that, you will see hidden copy number 10. Number just collect nine. that and One yeah. Left. So once you've collected that last 10th clue, that is it. You've collected all of the hidden copies that you can find around Nuka World. Now you just have to return to Sierra and just tell her that you found all of them. And then she will tell you congratulations and you will then look further into the quest. But guys, if you do want to continue on this video with me and actually explore what happens after the quest, that is absolutely fine. We will do that right now. But for those of you who don't want the ending of this quest spoiled, then thank you all for watching. And I do hope that you will consider subscribing and checking out my other content. But for all of you staying, let's see what happens when we go inside. 
So once inside, this is Brad Burton's office. This is the guy who runs Nuka World, and there is quite a lot of cool stuff around here, I have to admit, a lot of memorabilia and just a lot of collectibles and stuff that you can find from around Nuka World. But the main objective here is to research around the room, find out what's going on, and just check around in general. There is a couple of little nods and hints and stuff like that around the room. Eventually, you will find out there is a secret button somewhere located in this room that we need to press in order to gain access to a secret part of the actual game. After around about 30 minutes of me searching this room, I finally found out it was right here all along by this Nuka fridge in which Sierra was actually blocking, so that's why I couldn't see the button. So thank you, you stupid bitch, for wasting my time. But now you see that a new bookcase opens, we want to go inside and take the elevator down. Now onto the main floor, you will see that there's actually a vault located underneath the office, which is a pretty big shock. We just want to go inside and check it out, to be honest. It doesn't have any specific names, it doesn't say if it's a vault, 88, 29, 69, woo woo! But yeah, we just want to head on and go through this door right here, in which reveals a rather nice looking royal room with a big red carpet leading on to some sort of of device at the end of it. And there you have it, there is Mr. Brad Burton himself, frozen in time, his head is just there, and it's pretty creepy. I'm not going to actually show you all of what happens in this little dialogue, but he is still alive, yes, the Nuka-Cola King himself is still alive and well, well, not well, I guess, he's a, he's a frozen head, that's as worse as it gets, but yes, let's move on to what happens in a second. Also, I would like to say before we switch scenes that this next part will have a pretty huge spoiler for Nuka World, so if you don't want to see that, thank you very much for watching, as yeah, this is a pretty big spoiler, so yeah, I understand if you don't want to watch the rest. Still here? Okay, good, so this next part Brad Burton actually explains his whole situation of being trapped there forever, and it's a pretty daunting one, to be honest. I do feel sorry for him being there in on his lonesome, basically, for around about 200 years. It's just not nice at all, but he will give you an option. Either shut off the power, and once Sierra heard this, she's like, no, 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 I really want him, I want to suck his nose, and please keep him alive and I will give you something. But, although as good as that sounds, there is a way you can get Brad Burton's offer and her offer at the same time. So what we want to do is accept Sierra's offer. We want to say that we're not going to shut off Brad Burton's life support and that we're going to keep him alive. She will say thank you and she's going to give you a pretty awesome little suit to add to your collection, which is the vault tech jump suit. Sorry, not the vault tech the Nuka World one. But anyway, once we've done that guys, we want to go over here to the wall, in which we can actually shut off the power still, and yeah, we, we gone done it, we, we, fucked, we fucked her over pretty good, so here we've shut off the power and Brett Burton is now dead, and Sierra is not happy with this one bit, she wants to kill me, so we're gonna have to kill this bitch again, like we probably did in Fallout 3, so there she is right there, dead in the floor, silly bitch. And now we're free to get Brad Burton's stuff out of his safe right there. Just walk towards the safe and it's already open, you can see it, and already we can see some pretty cool goodies. Right here on the table is the Nuka Nuke, which is pretty awesome, and also you do get the schematics for it so that you can build them on your weapons, or just your weapon, I guess. But also here we have the official Nuka-Cola formula, also a couple of different Nuka-Cola quantums, victories, all that kind of stuff, and remember, to our left, we can actually get a Nuka Nuke launcher, so there is right there, pretty awesome weapon indeed. And again, we didn't have to choose any specific side, we just fucked them both over, well, not Brad Burton, we actually did him a favor, but yeah guys, that is pretty much it, I am very happy if you did stick around for this, I thank you very much for that, and I do hope that you enjoyed this full guide and this little look into the new DLC quest. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! And today, I'm going to be showing you where to find all 14 Nuka-Cola recipes in the new Nuka World DLC. Now guys, I would like to say that I have avoided all...